Okay, hi everyone. Um, so this call is like we we had talked in the previous um I think the first um chaos Africa meeting to kind of create like focus groups so that um people can come together in smaller groups and understand how they could contribute to chaos with their skill and you know we can be able to i can i can touch up with people as well as the community lead so this week um i have been meeting with like different focus groups and today is for like um the developer focus group and part of what um we're trying to do are trying to do in this meeting is you know talk about the different um softwares uh, that chaos has and you know how we could understand it better and how we could also start contributing to them um and yeah that's mainly what we we are going to like talk about during this meeting and there's also going to be a part of where we can share ideas on things that we could work on in the future to so um that's the essence of this meeting i'm trying to share my screen in a second share screen so um originally right um i know that everybody has their own software stack and um originally we do have like three softwares in chaos think theory and they are all on python and sean has been running um or he um sean started up um a something like a software information um tutoring rather but i think on this past saturday it didn't hold i think it should hold this saturday and usually runs by um I think from 12 p.m. to 3.30, I'm going to check it with Sean if it's going to hold. But for the meantime, these are the softwares we have, um, Augur and um, Grimo Lab and Cregit. I, I don't even think this Cregit has been active for a while. But if you want to check, I think I'm trying to go back to, I'm going to go to the repository and we do have like we do have um gsoc students that are working on augur currently and even outreach i think um precious the other precious um is working on documentation for the augur software and also um there are some um gsoc students that are working with augur let me just navigate to the the repository um you know, there are some this is the repository for it and personally i i do not really have enough information here that's why i'm even leaning on the on the software to tutoring that sean is kind of like doing and i don't think um i do not think precious the precious that's working on outreach is here um so like we can't even ask those questions right now, but I would also try to get more feedback about, um, you know, doing that because me personally, I have to understand it to explain it to others. But this is the this is the repository that that is for Augur, and I'm trying to find maybe the the GSOC students are working on it and what they're even working on. But that's by the way, um, I think we'll lean towards um, that, that software tutorial. I'll also be attending it myself so that I will get to know. But from what it is, it's mainly um, a software or a library that kind of gives um, analytics on your open source community. Um, let me check the website itself, how it looks like. Um, So yeah, this, let me see the live examples. Okay. 
So yeah, I, I, like I said, I'll just lean towards that. But these are the this is the repository for it. Um, um let me just share this link with everybody where we can put in thoughts. I've been creating a lot of documents. Oh yeah, um let's let me see. I'm even spelling this correctly. Grimo Lab. Um, let me check the spelling for this. Uh, Grimoire. And then Chaos Bots. Um, Chaos. Um, the new command just for new comma bots. Um, Dave, could you could you send a link to the to the repository for the chaos bot on the chat so that I put it here as well, and maybe you could also talk about the functions of it. Yeah, could you send the link to the could you send the link to the chaos bots um repository? Pressure sensors. Okay, pressure sensors. Great. I'm coming. Let me just put in the the link for this one. The Grimoire Lab. I think we can for this for the case of the fact that I do not I can I cannot really explain deep into what this is. Um, let me just put the comment here that um, this um, is I think it happens bi-weekly, this tutorial session, I can't even remember. I know it, let me check the, let me check the calendar. I know it happens, um, let me see, it happens on Saturdays. Yeah, it's bi-weekly by 12, um, by weekly. So um, let me put the link to this coming back here. So for if you're interested in like understanding things around the software, um, you can kind of like join these meetings. I think the next one will be next week since it's bi-weekly. You can kind of like join these meetings, but these are the um these are the GitHub repositories that you know this is holding on and you can join those meetings um that's during session to kind of like understand how ogre works and also pressures reaching out to pressures um 
Precious is the direct spread. I think she has done a lot of things. I wish um, Precious was here. Precious, um, I don't know her son name, but Precious, I can't really pronounce it. But yeah, if she was here, would have been able to get more details about Ogre. But yeah, that's for um, Ogre. Then the newcomer bots, which was um, created by um, Yimide and Precious during the Shikoda Africa program. So this is the link um, for it there. And I think I think it was built with both um, JavaScript both. I don't know immediately if you could talk more on it. Like, cause since I'm recording this session, there are some persons that might, you know, read, um, watch the session, rewatch it rather. So maybe you could talk more about the bot functions and how it was built. Then we can now talk about probably the, I think there's something we are supposed to do with this. Um, there's a there's a pending thing we're supposed to find kind of on the documentation. So maybe we can talk about how to do that, how we want to move forward with that too. Okay, so um, I'll just share my screen and then we can also in a program to transcend the site-wide DM. Transcend the site-wide DM to people, to everyone on the channel, on the Slack space. I hope you can all hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, you can send a site-wide, and so by prompting, you can prompt you to send a site-wide message and then when you type in some keywords, it will respond to you and give you the information you need. So we place that in the DMs because um, we don't want it to spam the, the different channels. And besides that, when a new member joins Chaos, welcomes the new member in their DMs. And then if you join a team, I welcome you, depending on the team. I think we configured a few. Mm -hmm. Currently, we're working on, because we have everything on one end page, so it's being broken down. So that will be pushed to the repository shortly. So it will be clearer to people, like you know where DMs are, if you, if you want to adjust anything about a particular thing. So that's um, what we're working on currently. Okay, so um, so that's you and Precious, right? You are working on that currently. Okay, um, that, that's that's nice. Um, so is there like, can you put that in the doc as well? Um, maybe on that here. Okay. Let's put it under here. Um, thank you, Inige. Um, so I think while you're putting that in, do you have any thoughts on, you know, what what other things are there? Other things first. I think not just say what other things because the bot can be in perfect state already or are there other things that we could work on in the future while you know people are trying to understand how the bot works are there other things they can think about or you know what they could engage with i think um, for the bot a lot of things like um we could actually now we have um chaos africa so we can implement something for chaos africa within the same bot or if you want to I implement something for Chaos Africa, I just had it to it. So I think those things will come is it will um easy for people to contribute to once everything is broken down. Okay, okay, yeah. great. So they um, will understand it easily so that it can welcome people, it can direct them and all that. But it can do a lot of things, depends on what we want and 
can configure it to actually um, send the information to a particular channel and not to the another one. So that's what was done with um, Chicode Africa. But we wanted uh, something slightly different from chaos, so I'm able to manage that. Okay, so can you go back on the Shikoda Africa function you just mentioned? Like Shikoda Africa wants it to be that um, if somebody mentions maybe a particular word in a channel, mm. they don't want, they, maybe you, you, you introduce yourself in a channel that is that is not introductory. So will actually mm -hmm. respond to you and tell you to introduce yourself in the introduction channel. Okay, so direct to direct yeah. there's a whole lot that can be done people can say this is what we want to look at it and try to figure out how to do it Okay, that, that's so. Um, I think all these things is dependent on what you're currently you and uh, you meet, um, you and uh, Precious currently working on, right? So, say, say that again. Yeah, so I was saying that all this, um, before we can think of things to improve, I think you mentioned that you and Precious is you are currently working on adding information or something like before we can think of this stuff. Mm, that should be done this week. So it's just being broken down. Okay. So that um, it's easy for people to identify what and what and to make a troubleshooting easier for anyone. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. Um, so um, is that like, okay, you said it should be carried out like this week. Maybe. I already have um, Shiko that it has been implemented, but I'm not, um, it's not live. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that format to break down chaos and code base for the report. Okay, that, that's really nice. Well done. Um, do you think we need like a documentation, like a proper documentation site for I know this already on um this is on um on Google Docs. Do you think we need a proper documentation site for the bots? I think um eventually we might get to that because it's going big and people will start to using it like school Africa is already using the code. But for now, we okay. can actually- Yes, they're it. already using the code. Yeah. Yes. That, that's interesting. It's, I... um, it's in testing mode, so you will see it. I, I, I just put it on some private channels and um, well, it's on their- uh, Africa. Yes, it's on their oh, Slack nice. channel. So they can see, most people don't won't notice it. Wow, that's really, it's really nice. And I'm proud of that work. Well done to both of you. Okay, that, uh, that's, uh, that's nice. Um, so for context, in case people like people are watching and they do not really understand, um, Imide and uh, Precious Abubakar, they, some months ago, they, we had a program from Shikoda Africa contribution. Um, you know, it was an open source kind of boots program that was around for like two months so the project was mentored by me um elizabeth elizabeth is the community manager here at chaos and matt not matt g but matt matt c matt Kantu. um so we mentored um we kind of mentored imide and precious to build a new coma bot and good enough um you know excitingly the bot is also being applicable in 
Shikod Africa itself. And that's something exciting. And we are really happy about that. Um, that's, that's part of it. Uh, okay. So these are the things that I think Precious and Amy, they might get back to us when, I think you can update the channel on when this is, this has been done and when we can start looking for, you know, people, I know there are some people that write JavaScript, so that were even complaining that, you know, because they are not Python people, they don't know how to, how they can contribute to chaos as developers. So I think that would be some interesting thing for people that write JavaScript to want to work on. So I think maybe uh, you, Media and Precious, you, you, you both can like update us when this is, this is um, all settled out so we can start looking for people that would want to and you could also you know help people get um, acquainted with the bot and the functions and also the um, bots for javascript or if people do not know that i think you they could ask you questions right that's fine i'm happy to help i'm happy to communicate with Okay, so that's uh, that's great. Thank you, Aimee. So I don't know if there are any questions from anyone. Is there any questions from anybody that are not clear about the board or you have any questions at all or any any idea? that uh, things we could improve on the bot to add to this list, to grow this list. Sorry, I'm typing a lot. But okay, I think silence means there are no questions or improvements. Okay, so the next um, topic um, we're kind of like looking at is, so we're looking at building, um, so there's a part of chaos, um, an initiative in chaos um, for context, um, DI badging. Um, we are, okay, there's also the badging bot. I also forgot that part as well. We also have a badging bot, um, the DI badging bot. So let me give some more details on this um, initiative, DI badging first. So if you come to chaos, like um, the main page, the main page, you'd see the. We also, I think we we are working on this website. So all these things, all this information, the bot has to be added here as well because it's something that we are using outside. So people are beginning to use. So we should add that. Um, the if you see the different we have like an initiative called um di badging um and this this um initiative kind of like what we do here is um we we have two forms of it we have like events badging and we also have projects badging so what we do is it's just like badging events for events events come to chaos to apply for a badge to show that they are diverse and inclusive and if you look at our repository here um, the repository um, this is the general repository but if you look at the um this is it has its own organization you see badging by chaos um it has its own github organization so we do have like um, the events we badge events and the function what we have a badging bot actually that handles assigning people like we have reviewers that review these events so the badging bot um, kind of like assigns people um, you know creates a badge after the 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 project has been reviewed it creates a badge and um, you know gives gives the um the events that badge so there are a lot of functions this budging bot has and there are even gsoc students that are working on improving the functions of this bot as well so we also have the badging bots even 
uh, one of the bots we have here is the budget bot. Let me just add this to the link. My laptop is low and I have to get up to go and charge it. So you have to give me a minute. But let me add this here. But like I was saying, the, the budget bot kind of has a lot of functions and you can explore those functions here. Um, that's another thing you can also look at um, improving for or something we could in future work on to in the chaos um africa like their focus group so that's something we could work on um as well going to this budget website we are looking at creating a website to kind of display because we do not really just have a page for badging on chaos and we do not have like we do not have um a particular website and if you look at this di badging for events we have bad a lot of conferences and we just have it on the readme here it's just all scattered everywhere on the readme and we're looking at you know putting up that a website for this um for di badging and part of what we talked about during the badging meeting is to use uh to use github pages i don't know if anyone has worked with github pages before we're looking at something not something really complicated for the meantime so i don't know if anyone has worked on github pages i think i talked to the designers um, on monday on designing something that we could focus on i don't know has anyone worked with github pages before i think um, basically what we do is um we we write the code and then we launch it on GitHub. So that's what we do with GitHub pages. Oh, you write you the code state on Yes, the way you host it in the file. Oh, I see. GitHub. So it's not like it helps you build up the site itself. I don't know about that. Precious, what do you think? No, no, it doesn't. It's just for hosting, like you would host on your Google. I see. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to charge my laptop. Um, okay. Um, sorry for the noise, but yeah, okay. I, I see. I, I used to think I thought it was something like that helps you build up the site. But yeah, we're looking at using GitHub pages too. So I think we should change it to host, right? Um, for hosting, rather. Okay, so we're looking at starting up something for the badging website and I know that it's not, it's going to be, um, and Precious and Amy, they are kind of like occupied with the newcomer bots. So the thoughts was to have like people that want to, I think we have to also wait for designers to even understand um, badging itself and design something that we could work with, right? So it's just, I'm just putting this out there that this is a project that we could work in in the future, like kind of work on in the future as something um, that's uh, a project we could start with because then for why you're trying to understand what else is about, it will help you when you are contributing to a particular project, right? So um, I'm just putting this out there that this is an idea we could also start working on. Um, I don't know if there are any present here. I don't know what we can use to build this. So do you have any thoughts, react? What, what can we use to build the website? Something that everybody would be able to, especially for the JavaScript folks, because, uh, you know, they are, I, I think there was a, an issue where during the meeting, people complained that, you know, since Chaos main software is based in Python, there are some people that are the right JavaScript that we want to contribute. So this is something we could look at. Uh, I don't know what thoughts y'all have. Okay. 
think it's my gas too. Okay. Um, I think someone said to use JavaScript or React to build it. Um, okay. I think there are other ones like GQL as well. Um, I think there's GQL. Uh, I don't know if people know about GQL. And uh, Chaos website is hosted with WordPress, so I might as well add WordPress here too. <laughs> Um, so this is just something we could go to deep on and also explore BI badging um, personally to understand what BI badging is. Um, yeah, so I think that's mostly um, what I have as an agenda for today um, to talk about like the different softwares we have. So do we have any other things we want to run through? or questions or things that you think we could work on in the future? Um, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, I wanted to ask, so since um, we have to wait for the designers to design, or can we just build the websites using a template already? Not like WordPress, like an already made template. Okay, um, so when you say like a template, what um, framework or what website platform are you going to be using to build that? Um, framework can be JavaScript, like React or Next.js. Okay. It's not waiting for design and building from scratch. You can just build from somewhere that's already gone have. Okay, um, that makes sense as well. But another thing is we have to also draw like a wireframe that's what would the website be composed of. That's one thing. That's why I was like thinking, but yeah, you can, we can start off something. Do you want to like take a lead on that? Um, then, you know, mm -hmm. other people can join you as well to start off something. The, the main thing is starting, that's it. Uh, then, because designers are trying to, when we met this Monday, you're trying to like kind of understand what budget is about because everybody that was on that meeting was like clueless. So they were personally trying to understand as well. Mm -hmm. But um, to some extent, uh, Mahoma has been here. So you you have some information in context. So you can go ahead. And if you want to also take a lead on that, that's really great too. Okay. Okay. I'd like to. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll just just put it there. Um, I'm just putting all these notes so that people that watch the recording will have enough context on who to reach out to. Okay, that's um that's great. Does anyone have anything they want to run over to as well? Um I think someone is trying to I think Enoch is just coming in. So I think Enoch will talk to us about the badging bot. Hi Enoch, we've been waiting for you. 
Enoch is one of the um is Enoch is one of the GSOC students that's working on the badging board. So Enoch, sorry for putting you on the spot, but could you help us talk about the badging board and maybe talk about things you're working on currently as well be of interest to anyone? Thank you. I'm just thinking maybe I'm just in time for <laughs> for whatever I was supposed to talk about. Yeah, How long yeah. is this? We are ending in five minutes. Uh, we'll be ending in like um, 15 minutes, so we still have some time. So some context mm -hmm. is this meeting, we are trying to, um, so many folks, um, you know, are not the new members of Chaos Africa or developers are not really, do not really understand that what are the softwares we have in Chaos, how can they contribute? So this meeting is kind of, you know, shining the light on those softwares and talking about them and areas of contributing. So for Olga and Grimoire Labs, we couldn't really do anything because I do not understand it myself. And we are, we are leaning on this tutorial session that Sean is running. The one for last Saturday did not hold, but I think the one for like next week would hold. Um, then for the newcomer, but we had, um, Precious and Mide here that, you know, explained what they are currently improving on the board and other things that we could improve in future when they are done with, you know, the um, documentation, like making things clearer and other stuff. Um, these are the things that we could work on in the future that people could pick up as well. And then we came to the badging board and they were not here. <laughs> so we moved past it. And uh, another project we're looking at working on is a website for DEI badging. So we're, we kind of like talked about how we could use the different frameworks we could use for this and Uoma, you know, volunteer to take the lead on it. So yeah, we are back to here, badging bot. <laughs> okay, yeah, now that gives me context. Um, I'm happy to see guys here. I hope you guys are doing fine. Um, I don't know how much you've talked about Grimoire Lab and Agar, but um, <laughs> pardon? We've not said anything because I, I, I'm lost. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So I, I think I can say something about Agar, Grimoire Lab, then I can go to the budget boat just in the sure. shortest time possible, maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, sure, please do. Yeah, um, so Agar is um, like a Python library, mostly it's actually Python. And um, what Agar does, it is like um, a library that you, you can um, plug your repository in and um, it generates analytics depending on the metrics that are being created by Chaos. So every time a new metric is created, um, Aga, the developers of Aga find a way to integrate it within within the, 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 the software so that um that metric is reflected on any project that um on any repository that may be plugged into it. Um, currently, Aga has no online um online I should say online instance which you can log in to see how it works. The only way you could um, do that is um, when you happen to to log in to 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 download it as a oh, sorry like a clone it as a local repository, then test it out. That's when you're able to see the dashboard. So it has no online instance on it. Um, I'm trying to shift because I'm looking for battery. I was fixed up with something, but of course I had to join. So oh. I'm walking, yep, somewhere, but still I can talk. So um, what happens is, just hold on a minute. Sorry guys to hijack you. I'm looking for battery, I'm in a meeting. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ruth, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Can okay, you? yeah, sure. So I was still, I was still talking about Aga. 
And I was saying there is no online instance for it that you could log in to see how the metrics are really reflecting, depending on which repository you've tagged it in. But um, if you're interested in doing that, you could actually clone it. And after cloning, you could um, follow the documentation. I think the document is um, ooh. OSS Aga, try to yeah, type in OSS Aga. Documentation. Mm, sure. So um, I'm sure I'm sure there is um there is an updated version of it that if you read it carefully, patiently, and diligently, you could um run Aga. But I'm I highly believe that it's hard to run it on your first on your first tech. But after two to three trials you could have it up and running and then you could see how the dashboard looks like but also a lot of time was put into creating that documentation which i believe at least could um, give you context into what it does and where to start from just in case you're interested in doing that mm -hmm. so um, and, um about grimo lab grimo lab is um not a direct project um to chaos it is um it is it is part of um, the chaos project, but the maintainers of Grimo Lab are should I call them like private contractors? Yeah. They just have a sure. yeah 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 they just have a connection to 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 chaos, but Grimo Lab does the same thing with um, Agar. I just don't know how different it is because I've not yet run it and tried it out. But Sean was saying um, same stuff, but just in a different implementation and a different way. But then all I know is Grimo Lab is way more supportive structured since um, the team that works on it is um, an active team that uses it to for very many other business related purposes. So they put time into making sure that it is well maintained. I've not tried it out, but I'm sure if you could scroll through all of those things, you could um, have a feel of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, yeah. It is managed by Bitagia. Mm. I, I just saw that somewhere there. Yeah, Bitagia is like a company of itself that also deals in in, um, in, analyt in analytics and it uses Grimo Lab as a tool. Mm. So, um, thirdly, about what I know best, <laughs> whereas I have um, tried to also contribute to Agar, though the code base was really so big and I had to concentrate at one place. Um, for badging the bot, <clears throat> it is basically a bot that makes automations um, uh, in um, um, in the DEI badging events. I, I think um, Ruth, you've tried to elaborate that at least, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> what actually the bot does, the current implementation, which is actually that branch, the branch we're on right now is is um, the master branch actually, even if it's not labeled master branch. It's labeled glitch because the instance is deployed at glitch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, what the budging bot actually does is um, it, it, it um, automates very many processes that would have been done by the reviewers or the applicants and also the maintainers by, um, by assigning checklists, by calculating results, by also assigning a badge depending on um, what your results are. And um, there are four badges. I think there are five or four badges that are assigned depending on what range. How many are they? I think there are four of them. Let me quickly check. Uh, yeah, four of them. Yeah, pending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part. There are four, yeah. So um, actually, the README explains it so well. So depending on um, what your score is, the, um, the bot will generate a badge for that kind of score and give it to you. So currently, um, work that is being done around the bot, if you go to the glitch branch right now, if you try to clone that repository and put it on your local machine, you may actually do nothing with it because um, it's hard to test out code. It's also hard to, 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 I should say, it's majorly about the developer being able to test that code before deploying to see whether it works or not. So if you clone actually this repository and put it on your local machine, it is almost, I should say, useless. 
So what we're doing right now, <clears throat> one is we want to, we want to, if you could go to the DevOps branch from Glitch, just scroll. DevOps. Fixes. DevOps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And um, scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, so you, you actually see that the readmes are different from the one that's on Glitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, we, we, we are trying to, first of all, refine how the bot was created at first so that it caters for someone who would want to contribute to that bot in future. So first, what we started with was um, we wanted to, to, to make the readme robust. And then we go to the JITBOOK instance in the documentations um, at the website because um, there, is, there is also the section of the bot and we make it also robust enough so that um, it helps the newcomers um, navigate their way without contacting the maintainers. Mm -hmm. So that is the JITBOOK instance actually of um, the, 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 the bot, which, um, which will which would which would improve after we've um, made a lot of developments and also some of the new things that are in the readme are not here and some of them actually may not be enough for the new contributors the other thing we're doing is we are changing the deployment from glitch to digital ocean and i think we are going to use um we are going to use containers because we realized that people have different environments that they work with so we want to make it convenient enough for continuous integration and development by changing um, the deployment to another platform. But all of that will be put down in the documentation so that um, if you're a newcomer, you know how to navigate and um, you have your way through that. The third thing we're doing is we are changing the algorithms for the reviewers and also the assignment of, um, of issues so that um, the maintainer doesn't have to actually come and, um, and do that on their own, but the algorithm could check through the reviewers that are available and then automatically it can assign an, an issue to anyone that is there. And uh, depending on the availability performance and also depending on how fast would want something to get done. Yeah. Um, the other thing we're thinking of after all those implementations would want to broaden the board and um, we'll jump into um, and into the board taking care of all the other repositories of um, chaos that is mm -hmm. agar um, Grimo wow. lab and also um, the repositories where the metrics are because we realize that sometime in the future we may actually duplicate metrics or there are some issues that are created on repositories that are really so stale and the weren't taken care of so we want to look at all those things that would have been automated but actually right now they're being overlooked because of very many other things so that's how far we want to scale with it but after we have really um fine-tuned it for what it's supposed to do at the moment Okay, that, that, that's 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 really good. And I think there was a time that the bot used to like kind of like assign a reviewers for if the algorithm was kind of like a bot, and then um we it, it kept assigning the same persons over and over again. Mm. So yeah, that's really that's really nice. Thank you, um, Enoch, for a lot of this explanation. And I think we have stopped in the meeting that would hold by two. Hi, Matt. Hi. Yes, we have oh. a, the Asia Pacific meeting is starting in two minutes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. we have the same link. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, okay. Because um, I'm I'm done. I'm done actually. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Enoch. We're Maybe Matt. Done. Maybe Matt can. Um, but I don't know whether time can allow. Um, shed yeah, more light yeah, on the website fine. because because um, also it it has its own working group that is actually um, taking care of it of which Matt and me are a part but well I've attended less and Matt has attended more of those and he knows a better he has a better yeah. perspective to that but time of course can't allow yeah would I think we'll circle back in the next meeting but Matt this meeting is just for one of the focus groups for Chaos Africa the developers focus group okay so i wondered what this was do you want to put it on the calendar uh 
I think maybe we might want to think about that because they're like different focus groups and we do not want okay. to populate the calendar. So I we're just kind of talking about the different softwares in chaos and how people could contribute. But gotcha. we're all done here. And would, I think we'll have to end this meeting yeah, so that the recording can be saved. So, um, okay. Yeah. All right, thank guys. you. Thanks for coming. Thank you, everyone. We'll circle back on the Slack channel. And yeah. And I'm I'm host I'm host now Ruth so I can I can manage things. Okay, mm. okay. I think there was a recording, so maybe we want to end this and start up. Yeah, I will. Okay. All right, guys. See you. All right. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye.